guys. So I know I took a break for a couple days. Things have been really, really crazy. Um, I'm getting ready to move. I know I'm talking about that. I'm like, oh, and I'm getting a text message. Sorry, I'm getting text messages. Anyways, um, so yeah, so it is getting crazy. I'm getting ready to move. I'm really excited. I'm going to try to record um, a, quite a few questions, like answer them ahead of time. I mean, you guys know that I tend to do that anyways, um, but I don't want to slack when I move. And I know that honestly, you guys know how it is. I'm going to want to devote so much time to making it my home that I would probably slack if I don't have some things pre-recorded. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop right in and yeah, but just so you guys know, like I said, if I do take breaks and you're like, where did Nikki go? That's where I went, um, is I'm moving, but I'm going to try not to. So yeah. Okay. Hey Nikki, a guy and I have known each other for a while and have, a, and have always had a connection. I have pretty strong feelings for him, but I know that he has cheated on other girls he's dated. We've been spending more time together and we get along in all aspects, yet I'm not sure if I should cut it off because of his reputation. He says he won't hurt me, but I am not 100% sure I should believe him. I know that I may not be an exception and I know I can't change him, but I'm wondering if it's true that he has changed on his own as he claims. Okay, so here's the thing. I can't tell you if he's changed. Sorry, this video is going to be really choppy because I have a friend that's texting me nonstop trying to figure out details for something. Anyways, um, I can't tell you if someone has changed, but there are things I do believe people can change. Um, it's just, it's harder and a little unlikely. Someone really has to want to change for themselves, not necessarily for someone else. I mean, someone else can help push them in the right direction, but they have to want to change for them. So there are red flags you want to look for. You want to look for if he is flirting with other girls, if you calling him and not getting replies, are you texting him and not getting replies? How long have you been dating? Like if you've been, I don't remember what you said in there. If you've been dating for a little while, dating and he refuses to put a title on it, a lot of the times that can be a red flag, um, depending on how long you've been dating. Um, you know, there's just, there are red flags that a lot of girls choose to ignore. You want to be really honest with yourself as to how he's behaving around you. Um, girls tend to think, oh, I'm over-exaggerating. He's, you know, he's probably just busy or whatever, but guys make time for who they want to be with. If they're busy and you want to hang out or you guys have something scheduled, they'll reschedule it. They won't just blow you off and disappear for a few days and then show up. Those are the kind of things you want to look for. Um, like I said, how he behaves around other girls. Does he have a ton of girlfriends? Like, um, that's for the most part, not super healthy for guys or girls to have tons of close friends of the opposite sex. Um, you just, you want to watch out for those things, I'd say. So, but yes, people can change. You know, and sometimes reputations aren't always true either. Dan had a reputation in our valley that he was a player and sleeping around and this and that. It turned out he hadn't even had sex. We were virgins when we got married. And, but everyone's, you know, thought of him and his reputation was totally different than what actually was happening and who he actually was. I keep getting a whiff of my perfume and my candle. My room smells amazing. Anyways, so yeah, um... Use your best judgment. Don't be clouded by, like, idealistic thoughts, if that's the word, or, or oh, this or that. Like, and don't let him smooth talk you. Be logical. Look at the, the situation logically. And, yeah, I feel like maybe I wasn't that helpful in this one. You guys have probably been watching me in the little mirror the whole time. <laughs> but anyways, so um, just be logical. I've let my heart run away for me before and not use my brain and that's how I got in a lot of trouble and I got hurt it was with the guy I was dating before Dan so yeah all right guys that is it send your messages to ask Nikki P at gmail.com and I'll see you next time um so here's the thing you're gonna have to weigh out how much do you want that friendship if you really want that friendship and that friendship is really important to you I would not say anything 